Hey, Steve, can I have a look at menu, please? Cool, thanks. Hello. Hi, hi, you must be Ben. I'm not, unfortunately, no. Here we go. You're not. I'm Ben. Oh, hi, oh. hi, Ben. Oh, thank you Sorry. so much for agreeing to meet and talk me through how Japan differs to, to the usual rugby territory of England. I've brought you to an English pub. Can I grab you some fish and chips and a beer? Uh, no, I'm good, thank you, at the moment. Oh, you're drinking a beer already, it's the daytime. Yeah, so, wow. so, so I got the place for you to okay. chat about Japan. And it's a really nice restaurant, so do you wanna... Should we do it? Yes. Excellent, sounds good plan. Let's go, thank you. You're big. I am big. Have you ever been to Japan before? I've never been to Japan. I probably, I think it's brought home to me that I probably need a bit of a lesson in what to expect in Japan before I get out there. Is there anything I should look out for when I'm, when I'm meeting people? Do, do people shake hands? Well, uh, in Japan, we don't really do hugs. Right, so okay. <laughs> sometimes, yeah, it's, if it's in a polite situation, like bow. Right, I, I bow, okay. <laughs> you, you don't know a lot about rugby, but do you think as a country, mm -hmm. uh, Japan, I think that it will be a big event over there. Or... I think it's massive now. The Japanese people are very excited, very excited to host it. Yes. So, do you know how to say rugby in Japanese? Uh, you tell me and I'll try and copy it. Okay. Rugby. <laughs> so, Ben, have you, ever, have you ever made sushi before? Uh, no, but I'm willing to give it a go. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah sure? absolutely. Yeah. Good. <laughs> so Ben, you were talking about hospitality earlier. Could you explain to me a little yeah, bit more about um, it, So it's just an opportunity to, to enhance the experience, I think. So uh, you have the, the, the benefit of uh, a great meal before the game. The, mm. the bars, uh, you have your own bar. And you would get some insight from some, for, some former players. The main thing is, is just being part of that atmosphere. You, know, you want to be in a venue in the lead up and prolong that experience and, and if you can make that excitement and, and that air of anticipation before the game um, you know if you can really take advantage of that you have a, you have a pretty fantastic day here we are at rugby pitch time to uh, step into my world I've been in your world but we need to go and get you in some different clothes though come on let's go okay. Right, Yuriko, your first rugby lesson is what to do when the ball goes out of play. So we're going to teach you to do my old job, which is jumping in the line out and catching the ball, OK? Ready? Go! Ah, you're going to jump! Catch, jump. Ah. catch it, catch it! Oh, no. yeah! <laughs> That's exactly the noise that some of my team used to make. Martin Johnson always used to do that. Lesson one done. Yeah. That's fantastic. Okay. I, I think we'll Did make a second row out the ball. Yet. You know when we were uh, we met up earlier and you said that Japanese people generally don't hug quite as much, don't really like hugging as much as the, the British? That's correct. We're yes. going to challenge that. These guys are going to lead you. So hands in the air. Right, so it's crouch. So you all crouch down. Yep. Okay, so, bind. Fine. And set. Ah! And in you go. Good. You see, hugging is fun. Hugging is fun. Brilliant. You have now mastered the set piece, Eureka. You are ready for international rugby. You're ready for the World Cup. Thank you very much for the instruction. Um, yeah, I feel like I've learned a lot. Good. Yes.